The hearing for Betsy DeVos was yesterday, and of course there were a number of Democrats who grilled her on a number of different issues, specifically having to do with public education. Now, at one point, Representative Chris Murphy from Connecticut wanted to ask her about her thoughts regarding firearms on campuses. Does she think it's a good idea? And she gave an answer that people kind of didn't expect. So listen closely and hear what she has to say about the right to bear arms. Um, one final question. Do you think that guns have any place in or around schools? Uh, I think that's best left to locales and states to decide. The underlying question is... Um, you, can't say that, you can't say definitively today that guns shouldn't be in school, shouldn't be in schools? Well, I, I will refer back to uh, Senator Enzi, and he was talking about in Wapiti, Wyoming. I think probably there, I, I would imagine that there's probably a gun in the school to protect from potential grizzlies. If President, if President, Trump, if President Trump moves forward with his plan to ban gun-free school zones, will you support that proposal? Um, I, the President-elect does, but Senator, if, if the question is around um, gun violence and uh, the results of that, please know that I, I my heart bleeds and, and is uh, broken for those families that have lost any individual due to gun violence. I look forward to working with violence. I look forward and to working with you, but I also look forward to you coming to Connecticut and talking about the role of guns in schools. Thank you. So oh, if you don't know just the serious context first, uh, uh, Murphy represents uh, Connecticut where of course Sandy Hook happened where there was a horrific massacre at a mm -hmm. school for those young kids. So that's why he's very emotional about that issue and, and, and presses on it. But he certainly did not expect the goofy answer that he got. Yeah, so I have so many things to say about her answer. And now of course everyone's focusing on her answer regarding grizzly bears and I'll get to that in just a second. <laughs> With a um, giant grizzly bear behind you. <laughs> Potential but, grizzlies. <laughs> okay, but, but I, I have one irrelevant point to make that I have to get out. Wapiti is probably the best name for any town that's ever existed. <laughs> I, I wish hadn't thought of that. That's so Wapiti, true. <laughs> Wapiti is great. I love it. Okay, so just wanted to get that out there. Um, also, look, toward the end of her answer where she was talking about how her heart breaks for the lives that were lost in, in that, that shooting, she can't, she doesn't even seem genuine when she's talking about that. She was tripping over herself. Like, she couldn't even... It didn't sound sincere. I, look, it very well might be sincere, but throughout the hearing, and, and this involved every other answer that she gave, it seemed like she was struggling to tell the truth with every single answer. Yeah. Uh, she, or she was struggling to lie persuasively. Yeah, so we did a lot of clips today about where I broke up uh, all the serious things that she said and was not forthright about. Hey, if you're in favor of charter schools, yeah. just say it. If you want to take money away from public education and give it to private education, just say it. Mm -hmm. If you're against Bernie Sanders' program uh, to give free college education in college, <laughs> just say it. Why, why are you dancing and saying things like, my heart bleeds for them, it, my heart circulates blood for, uh, for the potential grizzlies that are uh, out there and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> so all of that is unbearable. Uh oh, it begins. Uh, ah. So, <laughs> for most of the hearings, it looked like she was just grinning and bearing it. Yeah. But uh, well, she is a polarizing figure. Uh, that is certainly true. Look, b bear with us here yes. as we go through. Okay, this. we're the worst. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me let me get to the the actual substance of the story though, because it okay. is important. Okay? okay. You ready for it? Yes. Um, all right. So let's see if I can bear it. So. She claims, well, you know, certainly there, there are probably some schools like Wapiti, Wyoming, where they have guns to protect kids from, from bears. That is not, in fact, the case. In fact, guns are banned from every public school in Wyoming per state law. So why did she Oops. say that? Where did that come from? She also mentioned uh, uh, Enzi, right, claiming that she had a talk with him and they discussed this issue, but that's not even necessarily uh, the case. Where is that tweet? Anyway, Enzi tweeted, and he's like, no, 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 we didn't, we didn't actually have a discussion about guns in schools at all, at all, at all. 
And in fact, he is not in favor of guns on campus. Uh, they do have a way of dealing with a bear threat on campus because especially in, in Wapiti, uh, Wyoming, it could be an issue because they're so close to a national park where there are a lot of bears. So what they did, I know it sounds crazy, is they built a fence. And so uh, that's worked. And experts have looked into this because of course you want to protect kids and, and bears can do some serious damage. They're up to 700 pounds. They move very quickly. They could do serious harm. So you know what else they use? Uh, bear spray, which has actually been way more effective than guns because oftentimes what happens, you're in the moment of duress, right? As a gun is, as a bear is charging at you. So a lot of times people miss the shot. With bear spray, you don't have to have good aim because it just kind of like goes all over the place and then it, it will deal with the bear situation in a much more non-violent, non-threatening way. I love that you bothered to break down her political uh, answer here. Like, because they, it's relevant. Look. They're no, they're, they're, nobody's going to get attacked by bears. It's not a real problem in America. Shootings in schools is a real problem. It happens all the time. Remember Columbine. Remember uh, Sandy Hook. Remember all the different school shootings throughout the country, let alone in colleges, Virginia Tech. Some of the biggest shootings in the country have been it on, co on college or school campuses. Remember all the bear attacks in schools? No, you don't because there's not an epidemic of bear attacks. I know, but look, <laughs> she did something clever there because Wapiti, Wisconsin does have a problem with bears. Which, Wyoming. But, but, <laughs> Wyoming, sorry about that. Uh, they do have a problem with bears. It's a rural area. They have a tiny population of people, right? Um, but since, again, it's so close to a national park, that has bears, they do have to deal with it, but they found a much better way to deal with it. And again, the state of Wyoming does not allow guns on public school campuses, on school campuses, and with good reason, right? They also don't allow bears on campus. And here's another way you can prevent a bear uh, from harming the kids inside the school. Mm -hmm. Doors, because bears cannot open doors. <laughs> okay. And it's, her uh, policy proposals are preposterous. Once again, Anna's right about the core of it. Be honest. Hey, say, you know what? I think in some schools we might need security guards, and those guards might need to carry weapons. Now, I know that given Sandy Hook in Connecticut, uh, that you are opposed to that, and I understand why you're opposed to it, but we have a difference of political opinion here. I think guns make people safer. Just say it, right? Because that's what you believe. You have the courage to be able to say that instead of making up tall tales about grizzly bears attacking you and Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay. Look, she's not a politically savvy person because she has zero experience in politics. And I don't think that that should be a disqualifying factor, right? Um, in this case it is, though, because she has no experience in education other than funding politicians who are willing to suck the money out of public education and privatize education. That's the only experience she has. So while she's up there and she looks flustered and it seems like she's not sincere about a single thing she's saying, understand it's because she has absolutely no experience in this field of work whatsoever. He th she thinks teachers in public schools are overpaid. She thinks teachers are overpaid. Do you know what they get paid? How are you aware of it at all, right? The only thing she cares about is the ability to teach creationist BS on school campuses throughout the country and ensuring that she and her rich buddies don't have to spend a single dollar on public education because her wealth isn't enough. She needs more. That's the only thing she cares about. That's her only qualification. I think she barely even knows what she's talking about. <laughs> I love how I'm all angry about this and you're just like having a good time. I know you can barely stand it. Yeah. Uh, and her position is barely legal. You can help build independent media. We're now doing fundraising to get four new investigative reporting teams out there and be the watchers on the wall. We're not going to let Trump get away with anything. We're not going to let the establishment get away with anything. You help us build it. TYTnetwork.com slash go. Be part of the solution.